it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a highly requested makeup tutorial. This is a graduation look. And I know a lot of you are graduating because it is already March. It is graduation month. And I just want to say congratulations to everybody out there who is graduating. Sobrang congrats. I know the feeling of being a senior and parang it's mixed emotions because you're so excited to face the new world. You're so excited to get a new job, finally earn money, have a lot of free time. But also you're sad to leave this chapter of your life behind. Today's look is going to be very very transitional. I want you guys to look mature but still young, if that makes sense. Parang a young professional, youthful pa rin, but very put together. I'm using a lot of browns in this look and it's a very flattering eye makeup look, especially if you're Chinita. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue because when you are graduating, there's gonna be a lot of waiting time and you don't wanna look oily when it's your time to go up on stage. You have to make sure that your face is going to be matte the entire time. Para fresh ka sa photos. For sure, and dami mong picture sa yo, so kailangan pack yung makeup mo. Kailangan maganda ka. I'm going to put a lot of this Benefit Professional Matte Rescue on my T zone because that is the area that I get oily the most. But I'm also gonna apply it here around my mouth and up on my cheeks and under eyes. So, ito na yung primer ko. Now that that's set, I'm going in with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. This has SPF 19. Just in case your graduation ceremony is outdoors, you should always put SPF so you guys are protected. This foundation has a really cool applicator. Sort of like a concealer applicator type. So, I'm gonna apply that all over my face and with a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to Pat that onto my skin. Now, I would say that this foundation has medium coverage, so you can still see my freckles, but it's covering up a lot of the redness that I have on my face, which is good because I want this look to be fresh, very youthful, but still sort of like a transitioning makeup, so slightly professional, but like not over the top. So I like that my skin is able to breathe through this foundation. And now that that is set in place, all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of concealer. When you're graduating, you're gonna be on stage. A lot of people are gonna be looking at you. So you wanna hide all of those under eye circles that you got from working on your thesis or studying late night for all of those exams. So I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. And this is like my most powerful concealer. Like it will literally erase your face. So I'm gonna use this sparingly. I'm just gonna put that on my under eye circles over here, the dark spots. And then I'm going to put it also on my, this part, <laughs> and on the bridge of my nose. So just the parts that I want to sort of pop and highlight. As you can see, it's so white. <laughs> but don't worry because when we put bronzer and everything else on our face, this is gonna look normal and I won't look like I'm crazy. So the reason why I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape is also because it really hides all of the blemishes in the areas that I'm concealing. So I'm not gonna be afraid na if somebody gets my photo and it's candid and I'm not prepared, kita lahat ng blemishes ko. With this concealer, I am sure everything is hidden. And because it's in a lighter shade, it's also gonna make that part of your face pop. Parang <laughs> Go to the chat. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the finish is very matte, which I like, especially for long lasting makeup. Ta da! Okay, now we are going to move into powder just to set everything in. And today I'm gonna to be using the RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm going to be baking under my eyes, just under my eyes, so that the makeup that I put on doesn't move. While I'm busy with my graduation ceremony, I'm gonna use my same damp beauty blender, tap that under my eyes. I'm also going to slightly bake my forehead area because I get really oily there during the day. And my T-zone. And I'm gonna let that sit there while I do the rest of my makeup. But I'm also going to apply the same powder onto the rest of my face. But using a brush this time, so it's very light lang. So I'm not gonna brush off the parts that I'm baking for now, so that it really sets in the makeup and locks it in place. 
Now moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna give life back to my face and I'm going to use the Chicathon palette by Benefit and I'm going to use one of my favorites, the Hula bronzer over here. Now this just gives my face a very healthy, summery, youthful glow. So I'm applying that onto a contour brush and I'm just going to brush that onto the sides of my cheeks down here so that I can seal the double chin through the temples. Just sort of like adding a vignette to my face so that when they take my photo from the front, it looks like my face has perfect lighting all the time. But you're actually just making diet with your contour. Yeah, and so I look like I'm alive now, except for this weird white thing over here. But fear not, we will take that out in a bit. So now I'm moving on to contouring my nose and I'm using an angled brush and I'm just going to dust the sides of my nose to make it seem a little bit longer. Again, making daya for the photo. And I'm also going to go into my eye socket to add a little bit of shadow there. Give it a little bit of depth. Blend this here. The line's too harsh. So the line is a little bit too harsh, so I'm just going to use my thicker, fluffier brush and just blend that out. Alright, now we are moving on to blush and I'm using the Dandelion Blush, which to me is perfect for graduation because it's just subtle, very useful, very healthy, very light pink. Does that onto the apples of my cheeks. And moving upwards towards the contour so it blends out. So as you can see, subtle lang siya na pink. Maganda lang siya. It's not too much. It's not too harsh. It's not like clowny. Okay, now you can stop here with a blush, but I like to go in also with the Benefit California color. So this is sort of like a peachy. It has a little bit of gold glitter in it because I really feel like adding this makes me look happier. <laughs> I don't know why. So I'm just going to add a little bit. I love this blush. <laughs> okay, now we are going to move on to the highlight. And I'm going to use the Laura Mercier highlighter. It is Highlight 01 Matte Radiance Baked Powder. And I like this one because it matches my skin tone fairly well. So it's not like the Becca Champagne Pop where it's like boom, highlight. It's just very natural but glowing part in. I feel like every time I add highlighter, my skin automatically looks like it's so snatched. Like it's so fresh. Parang ang tight niya, sarap ng tulog ko, it's so healthy, ganyan. So I love adding highlighter. And this is an easy cheat for you to do if you didn't have enough rest, but parang you want to look fresh the next day. So I'm just going to add it onto the bottom of my brow bone, high points of my cheeks, also on the middle of my nose, down here. I'm also going to add a little bit to the sides of my temples. Now that I'm done with my face, I'm going to zoom you guys in closer and let's proceed with the eyes. So I'm going to start with my brows, sort of to frame my eyes before I do my eyeshadow. And today I'm using the BLK Cosmetics Brow Sculpting and Pencil Duo. Now I really like this because it's affordable, it's easy to use, it glides on really fast. It's very easy to find so you guys can also get one for yourself. I know that's something that you always complain about because the products that I use, I usually buy when I'm abroad but this one you can easily find here in the Philippines. And also most of the products that I'm using today, you can easily find in the Philippines like in Restans or in Sephora.ph. So I will try my best to find where to find them for you guys and put a link down below so you guys can check them out too. Of course, you're not limited to using just the products that I'm using today. For example, if I use a brown eyeshadow, then it doesn't have to be from the same brand. Just be creative and don't stress about it. Now, I don't go too wild when it comes to brows because I like my brows to be just clean but still natural. Like, no Instagram brows, no brow gel. So this is really okay enough for me, this kind of look. Like, just using one product. What's important is you just follow the natural shape of your brows and you sort of clean it up a bit. Instantly, it will make you look more put together. So moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to start with the raw sienna color over here. And I'm just going to take a flat brush and apply this color all over my lids as a base. I'm going to focus the color more onto the crease because later on I'm going to be adding sort of a glittery color inside here. Now, when you're doing graduation makeup, I suggest sticking to neutral colors like browns. 
so that you don't look too clowny. And when you look back at your photos in the future, you won't be thinking like, what was I thinking? Or you won't be following any makeup trends that will go out of style anytime soon. So using the same raw sienna color, I'm going to dust my lower waterline. And then I'm going to blend everything out with a round brush. So I'm not adding any product here, I'm just blending it out. All right, now I'm going to use a thinner round brush like this. This one is by Morphe and I'm going to go into the burnt orange color over here. So if you're not using this palette, you just go on to a color in the same color family but a little bit darker. So I'm just going to apply that onto the crease and outer V and just going to blend that together with the first color that we put on. Now when you blend your eyeshadow, obviously the color is going to get less and less intense. So don't be afraid to go back in your palette and pick up more color to add. And when you're working with matte eyeshadows, it's so much easier to blend them together without it looking muddy. So you want to start with matte colors first. Now I'm going to take my slim brush again and go into the burnt orange color and do the same on my bottom waterline. That way it's balanced top and bottom. Now for the fun part. I have this new product that just arrived. It was given to me by Restance and it's from Stila. And I've heard a lot about this. It's really cool. It is actually a liquid eyeshadow. Now you don't have to use this. You can use any glitter or whatever, but I just really want to try out this product. So all I'm going to do is, do you see this part over here that doesn't have a lot of eyeshadow? I'm just going to apply this product on there. So I'm just going to blend the edges out. It dries so fast, guys. Look, dry na siya. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit here because I wasn't able to put there because I panicked. The color is so pigmented and beautiful. Oh no, a smear. Oh no, a smear. Oh no, a smear. Oh no, it's drying. Grab it, it's dry now. It's so fast. But look, the color is so intense. What I'm going to do now, because I wasn't able to blend it out fast enough, I'm going to go back into my eyeshadow palette and there's this color over here called Antique Bronze. Get a little bit of that and put it on top of the area where the liquid eyeshadow ends. And as you can see, perfect yung blending niya. So now I can blend that all together. You know what? I know I said that you should stick to browns, but I really feel like this makeup would look nice if I added a bit of orange into it. So I'm gonna add a bit of orange into it. So I'm taking the Real Gar color and I'm going to apply that in the same spot, just here on the crease and above where the glitter is. And I'm gonna apply that onto the outer V as well. And because we already put a lot of browns under there, the orange doesn't look too orange. It kind of just adds a little bit of a highlight or like an undertone to the color. So as you can see, we have created a soft brown smoky look. I'm gonna apply that down here as well so that it's balanced. All right, so now I'm just going to blend everything, do the other eye, and then check in with you guys later. Okay, I've done my other eye, and now I'm going to do my eyeliner. So I'm going to use a gel eyeliner because there's a lot going on in my eyes right now. So I'm using the Sigma Gel Eyeliner in black. So I'm taking an angled brush na madumi. Tanggalin ko yung buhok. Wait lang. Okay, so I'm taking my angled brush and I'm just going to draw a line extending outwards. You don't have to follow the way I apply eyeliner because it really depends on your eye shape. But I like to wing my eyeliner a bit but downwards, sort of like Korean-inspired eyeliner look because that's what suits my eye, I feel, the most. But feel free to do any type of eyeliner that you think suits you better. Now, when you're adding eyeliner, I know it's really hard. I'm having a hard time myself right now, but try your best not to tug on your eyes because that's gonna give you wrinkles. And if you're graduating, I'm guessing from college, then you're gonna start aging soon, so. 
you wanna take note of this little advice. All right, so now I have successfully finished putting on eyeliner on both my right and my left eye, and I have also put in some falsies, and I have also put in some eyeliner onto the bottom waterline, so everything's balanced. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter into my inner corners, and I'm still using the same Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I'm taking a very small rounded brush, and I'm dipping it into the Vermeer color. And I'm just going to apply that here on the inner corners. This is a very easy way to make you look more awake, make your eyes look a little bit bigger. So I'm blending that slightly outwards. All right guys, so as you can see, the white powder that I put over here to bake has sort of melted already into my skin, but in case this hasn't happened to you, then you just wanna dust off the powder that's still there, the excess powder. Although, I feel feeling ko wala nang na dust off sa akin. Parang kinain na siya ng skin ko. The only thing lacking in this look right now is lipstick. And today, I am going to use my new Gigi Hadid for Maybelline lipstick. Now, I haven't used this yet before, but I want to see. Parang the color looks so nice. So, I'm going to start with lip liner. And I'm using just a very natural, sort of pinky, browny color. And now, I'm going to add some lipstick. And this is the Gigi Hadid for Maybelline Lipstick in Macal. I'm so excited. I parang... Parang it's too light. <laughs> Wait, parang hindi ko siya bet for this look right now. I look like I'm too pale. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline New York Liquid Super Stay Matte Ink Lipstick and this one is in the shade Lover. So I know this is gonna work na talaga kasi this is the look that I went for last night. And if you don't know, last night was Valentine's Day. Oh, diba? Mas. Mas bagay siya. Although nag-iba yung color niya kasi syempre may lipstick na tayo. Ayan, fresh. Alright, so the look is done. Ito na siya. I hope you guys liked it. All I'm gonna do right now is add a little bit of setting spray. And as I mentioned before, it's gonna be a very long day. You want your makeup to be long lasting and sweat proof. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And this is supposed to help oil control. And this is just gonna lock all that makeup in place. All right, guys, so again, this is the finished look. I hope you like this. I know it's a little bit much, especially if you're not used to wearing a lot of makeup, but this is your day. This is your time to shine. Deserve mong day na to. Deserve mo yan. So go all out. Make yourself feel and look beautiful. Be confident. Have fun. Congratulations. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!